Yo, what's going on guys? Nizion here bringing you another video. Now in today's video, I'll be showing you guys on how you can go ahead and record, edit, and export your videos from your PlayStation 5 console without any capture card. But before I get started with today's video, if you aren't new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to keep updated with all the quality gaming content under 10 minutes. And now without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. So firstly, I want to make this video as quick as possible. And if you guys have any questions at the end, be sure to obviously leave in the comments and I'll try my best to answer your questions down there. So let's go ahead and get started with today's tutorial. Now, how you can go ahead and firstly find out on how to edit your controls for your crate button to make it just easier for you to go ahead and save video clips. First thing to do is go to your main home screen of your PS5, then click under settings, then go to the very last setting known as captures and broadcasts. Now under that, you go down to the captures and now click on shortcut for crate button. Now over here, I recommend setting it to easy video clips if you are a content creator, because if you click that, there is an option under button mapping for press twice on the crate button, which actually starts and finishes your recording by double clicking the crate button. So if you double click it once, it starts the recording. And if you double click it again, it stops and saves the recording. You can also edit it to making it the standard version, where if you press it twice, it will essentially save the previous length of your recent gameplay video clip, which you can also edit under the this section right here from the minimum being 15 seconds to the maximum being up to an hour of your previous gameplay. I recommend saving it to easy video clips. Obviously, like I said before, if you do want to save multiple clips, this is a way easier way to do so. Now, once you know your controls for it, you can go down to screenshot format. And if you want to save your screenshots also for your thumbnails and etc., you can change the JPEG, which just makes it much more of a bigger and more quality file, or you can change it to PNG, which is less quality, but a smaller file also. Now for file type, this is very important. Under video clip format, I recommend changing it to most compatible, which is MP4. This is something that you can use in a lot of different video editing softwares, and it's just easy to export and handle. Include your mic's audio and include party audio, essentially records all of that in your video clip. So once that's done, you are ready to go ahead and start recording on your PlayStation 5. So if you go under a game, for example, Fortnite right here, as you can see, I can just double click the crate button and on the top, it shows that little record bar comes up. That record bar doesn't show up in the video clip itself. Just for, it just shows up so it's an overlay on your screen so you can pay attention and track the time. And now right here, you double click it again and it essentially saves it on top right. You'll see the video clip icon and check mark beside it. That means it saves it. Now, if you wanna go ahead and view this clips and etc., you go down to the settings again in the main PS5 home screen. You go down to storage. Under storage, you go to console storage and media gallery. Once you're out of there, you go to all and you'll be able to edit and see all of your video clips, all of your screenshots and everything. And if you want to copy it to a USB, an external hard drive, you essentially plug it into your PS5, clip, click the options button and then copy to USB drive and it'll be able to save over there. You can edit, delete or manage all of your video clips from this setting right here. Now, if you want to edit your videos on your PlayStation 5, what you'll first need to do is download this program on your PlayStation 5 known as Share Factory Studio. Now, how to download this, some consoles actually come pre-installed with this, but if you download a lot of games on it, it kind of gets lost in the library. To download it, you go to the PlayStation Store. Once you're under the PlayStation Store, go to search Share Factory. Now you see right here, Share Factory Studio shows up. It's absolutely free. You don't need PS Plus or anything to download it. You just can go ahead and download it from here. And once you are done that, then you can go ahead and launch the Share Factory application. It only takes like two gigabytes, so it's nothing at all, really. It's a very versatile uh, video editing software on the PlayStation 5. Now you can click on a new project. You can go ahead and use this whole interface. I'm not going to show you step by step how to do it. It's very, uh, very simple, very straightforward. You select the clips you want. You click start project, continue, and you can go ahead and edit all of the videos, snip them up. And once you are done, you click the options button and you click save project or export to gallery and you can also go ahead and change the uh, video format and video quality and etc so that is essentially it if you guys have any questions comments or concerns like i said at the start hit that subscribe button turn on notifications let me know in the comment section down below what is your questions and i'll try my best to answer every single question down there it's been a bonizian i'll be catching you all in my next video peace out